We are two weeks away from the greatest stage in all of WWE, WrestleMania. Hello everybody, I am Obi-Wan. Yes, that Obi-Wan, what a show we have for you tonight. We're kicking things off with the women's champion and another qualifying match, the final qualifying match on Raw to determine who will be the final Raw participant in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And a damn near impossible task for Chloe Valentine heading into WrestleMania, going up against the Nightmare, the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble. And Laida Vega going solo tonight. Again, her LWO sister in. Yes, I, I pronounced that right, so that's brownie points for me. Again, contenders in the women's tag team match at WrestleMania. Still a pretty dangerous faction with the LWO along with many and Pristine Ramirez. And a rivalry that is still into going the terrors and the LWO first met back in WWE 2K18 some good stuff and so here we go in this extreme rules match finally thank you thank you for telling me it's the referee calls for the bell and here we go and again starting off with low kicks low kicks my apologies and into the Russian leg sweep by Chloe Valentine but Laida now connects with a beautiful dragon screw. And now it's Chloe Valentine's turn. And a dragon screw of her own. Screwing all over the place. Chloe now. Throws Laida into the ropes. Trying to go with a spinning back kick and it connects. Good reversal by Laida. As Vega now in the grapple. And just a toss over the top rope. Again, no countouts, no disqualifications. All the referee needs to do is count the pinfall or the submission. And into a reverse DDT. Again, also tonight in your main event, a triple threat to determine again who is the final member. Wait, wait, who is this? Why does she have LWO? What's going on? And what a right hand shot. And down goes the women's champion. And palm strikes. And into the arm bar. And Chloe found the time is having nothing of it. And what a chop block. As Laida now goes into the cover. One. And just an early one count. Who is this lady on ringside? All in the LWO gear. Good stuff. Is she the newest member of the LWO? Caught up on the ropes and down goes the women's champion again. Good reversal by Chloe Valentine. Is Valentine? No. Or goes. Hard into the turnbuckle and the shoulder thrust. Taken down. Laida Vega. And into the cover again. It's just a quick one count. It's Valentine now. Setting up in position. Is that a curtain call? That's that's awesome. And Chloe trying to get the momentum back on her side. And a right hand shot taken down. One third, or actually one fourth now. Again, who is this lady on? That's that's leaving. Nice reversal by Laida. As Vega now into that fireman's carry. And in perfect position to cut up on the apron again. And down goes the women's champion. And setting up, going for that razor's edge. 
as Lydia setting up and in position. And the Razor's Edge connects. And it would be something for Laida Vega to get the pinfall victory. As Laida setting up in position yet again. And this time a spinning Razor's Edge. And again, Chloe is not moving. Laida, you need to get her back into the ring. And her whipping to the steer steps. And what a super kick. That's what I'm talking about. A lights out super kick to the outside. And here we go. And again, Chloe Valentine goes over the barricade. And she's not done with her yet. What an uppercut. And here we go into the crowd again. No disqualifications. No count outs. Referee, you're actually doing something good. Let these ladies fight. And an uppercut again. And again, who will get the advantage? Laida now with another uppercut. Trying to go with a right hand punch, but a good reversal. And again, a beautiful forearm. And Chloe trying to get back to the inside of the ring. Hop over the barricade, and here comes Laida Vega. As Valentine now back into the inside of the ring, and then comes Vega. And what a spear taking down the women's champion. And Laida just looking down on her. Dara said menacingly because yeah, that that happened. And going for a discus clothesline and it connects. And Vega setting up for that racer's edge powerbomb again. Vega in position and it's all said and done. And again, a win over the women's champion and it connects. I just don't like the way that that Chloe's neck is all messed up and into the cover and the kick out. And this match continues and what an opening to Monday Night Raw. And Vega all fired up. Momentum is on her side and here comes one fourth of the OWO. And Vega throws family time into the corner. Connects into the ropes. And connects with the spear again. And it has all been Vega. And another disc is close line. And the referee calls for the bell. As Vega wins the match. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Jillian Rose. Nonetheless, give that woman a... We need to see what's going on because again, Vega won over the women's champion. The Nightmare is facing the champion at WrestleMania. We need to figure this out before we get to WrestleMania. Well, coming up next in your main event, the final qualifying match on Raw to determine who will be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And he is set on revenge tonight as Pete Dunne finally gets his hands on the Intercontinental Champion. And so here we go again. This is your main event of the night. Another triple threat to determine the final spot in the Money in the Bank of match. And here we go. As Pete Dunne and AJ Styles are starting off. Adam Cole just looking. And now AJ Styles. Looking at the Intercontinental Champion with a nice snap suplex. 
Again, he sets his sights back on Pete Dunne. That's Adam Cole now back in the corner. Just taking his time in again. This is good strategy by Adam Cole. I mean, let AJ Styles and Pete Dunne fight things out. Nice drop kick by Styles. And now it's Pete Dunne's turn in the corner. A nice back suplex. And here we go. Adam Cole, Pete Dunne. As Dunne is setting up. Going for the bitter end. And the bitter end connects. And this is all over. As he sets his side back on AJ Styles and a nice standing back suplex. And Pete Dunn going into the cover. Two and a kick out. I think that will cost Pete Dunn in the end. Again, he had the man beat and now taking a bite out of crime. Is Adam Cole getting out of that situation? And again, into the hammer like him. Will Pete Dunn tap out? And AJ Styles back into the grapple. And a good double team into a ru double Russian leg sweep. And now AJ sets his sights on the IC champ. Good reversal. Trying to go for that last shot. And again connects with another suplex. And now it's coming down between AJ Styles and Pete Dunne again. As Styles picks Pete Dunne back up. Going for the cap crusher. And again, will Pete Dunne tap out? Pete Dunn getting out of that right away. And again, just attacking the arm. And again, the strategy of Adam Cole. Just standing back. Let them fight it out. And a chop block taking down Pete Dunn. As Adam Cole goes into the cover. One. And the kick out. And now Cole sets his sights back on AJ. And again, good reversal back and forth between... All three competitors and what a main event for. And setting up for the last shot. And the last shot connects. And that is all of. We're going into the cover. One. Two. And a kick out. And Pete Dunn. What a forearm by Pete Dunn. As Dunn setting up. Going into that powerbomb position. Into a row up. And Adam Cole goes into the cover. Referee what the hell are you doing? Two, three, and Adam Cole kinda steals one. Maybe? Promise? Here is your winner. Deep down, I still think that Pete Dunn is a undisputed era member, but nonetheless, the final member on Raw for the Money in the Bank ladder match. I am Obi-Wan. We will see you for the final spot.